Today, we're going to find out how much we really know about reptiles. I know a lot about reptiles. I know a lot about reptiles. But we're going to do it blindfolded. We're going to Target. Get the bunny suit. <sighs> Sleep mask, right? Excuse me, do you guys have sleep masks here? We've been having insomnia lately, <laughs> thinking about the big day. Is there like a carrot section too? Like, somewhere? I'm pretty sure there is. Nice, you gotta get some carrots. It's the man himself. A29. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Bye. Happy Easter. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, cushion. I don't think this is gonna fit my ears. What's up, Doc? I literally can't stop smiling. You just see my face. Get that bunny. Hi. Hi. Should we feed him off to some snakes, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're on it right You're now. You're on it right now. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ears are my eye. Very nice. Well, here I am, working as always. I have no idea where Brian is. And actually, speaking of that, where the heck is Noah and Mike, too? So we're going to really find out how much these guys know about animals. How this is going to work is that we're going to actually bring down an animal, and you have to feel it and tell me what it actually is. We're going to do three rounds apiece. Whoever wins this round, guess what you win? A free trip to Cedar Point. Oh, what do you guys think? Nice. All right, let's go. Ow. Okay. You're gonna do Gerald? Yeah, I'm thinking Gerald because it's like a, a, a mid-sized snake. He's not gonna know if it's from the Reptarium or not. He's never gonna be able to know what Gerald is. Well, we have to take our time. We can't be too fast. What could they possibly bring down? Is that Gerald? <laughs> Let's go. Now remember, this could come from the Reptarium or BHB. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Well, obviously the snake. Okay. Kind of smaller. Doombrill's boas are from Madagascar. They're one of two of the Acrantophorus genus. The Doombrill's boas can get about eight to ten foot and are really placid, beautiful snakes. Oh wait, I know who this is. The keys got me. Is this Gerald? He wow. got it. Oh, he got wow. it. Really? It's oh, no. oh wow, that's bright. It does that a dude. lot? You tell. Oh, dude, all the time. Cause you'll hold it like this, and she always like stretches out, and then she'll grab your keys. That's pretty good. Noah's up next. Oh. <laughs> You have your own keys with names on them, and you make me always open up the keys. I like it. Well, obviously, if we use Flamin' Hot, he's gonna know, right? So yeah. if he's touching it, he's gonna think it's a bearded dragon. Initially, he's gonna think it's Flamin' Hot. So I've got an idea. Why is the face mask wet? It's only one round. When it comes to Pete, he's a bearded dragon as well. He's a little bit more spiky, but I'm not even sure no one knows that we have this animal. Yeah, I don't think he does. Let's see what happens. Can we give him RJ? <laughs> he wouldn't know what it is. I don't like being blind. There you go. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't know. This one's spiky. Spiky. Feel it. I don't want to. <laughs> Can I sniff it? Yeah. Sure. Mm. What does it smell like? It smells like a reptile show. Carpets at a reptile show. How have you ever <laughs> smelled a carpet at a reptile show? I was crawling around those things my whole life. That so. is true. They have carpets? And the good ones. Man, it's chunky. I think this one's pregnant. Okay. Think that's possible? Is this the basilisk? Bearded dragons actually come from Australia and are one of the most commonly kept pet lizards in this country. And rightfully so, they are really, really great animals to keep. They're omnivores, so they'll eat vegetation as well as some really bugs. Cool animal that love to chill out on people. <laughs> you just made up your own name for him? Yeah, I call him Frank. Who's Frank? I, I think there was a guy who died. I think this is his pet. You might be right about that. That's what's weird about it. I but think it was. <laughs> so I call him Frank. So this is the deal. His name is Pete. Really? But do we Give it to him or no? I, I mean, he knew him. exactly where he was from. Okay. That was his I'll story. Give, I'll give it to him. So, all right. Mike's got one, Noah's got one. Now it's my turn. Mr. Nubbins. It just feels too much like any other snake. Yeah, it's got smooth scalation. It's kind of like a medium snake, but I don't think he's guessing this one. Do you even know what it's called? Dominican Red Mountain Boa. You know, I put these guys through a lot of stuff, so I'm kind of a little bit afraid of what they're going to bring to me. I swear, if he guesses his first try, I'm going to be mad. No cheating. No cheating. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Here you go. Feel it? I feel one side of it. It's obviously a snake. Dominican mountain boas are found in the Bahamas and Bimini Islands of Hispaniola. They can get about four to six feet long and primarily in the wild they're going to eat lizards as neonates and then eventually turn over to rodents and they have been known to actually eat bats. It's a really long tail and it's a male so it's a boa of some sort. Well, how much are you fondling this? <laughs> <laughs> how much can you find out by their genitalia? Oh, God, long tail. Oh it's got a bigger fatter head than I expected. That's what she said. Wow it's so hard to know what it is is because it's like it's it's definitely a boid of some sort and I, and I don't i don't think it's a python i think it's an actual boa my initial thought was going to be a rainbow boa gosh <laughs> why is this tail so long this rainbow boa's tails aren't this long i think the time's up i mean come on <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's got to be a rainbow boa of some sort <laughs> what is it oh it, 
I should have gotten right. this. Dominic, I knew it was so. It's a rainbow ball, though. I mean, it's in the same. No, it's in the no. same family as a rainbow but ball. It's not a rainbow it's ball. Not, it's a Dominican it's a, red mountain boa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I and his name is Mr. Nubbins, not Rainbow Boa. Ah, uh, the yeah. nub is what I should have out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I lost that round. Hey Beth. Yes. Have you seen Brian, Noah, or Mike anywhere? I saw them all load up in the truck and take off a while ago. But his car's still here. I didn't. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them come back at all. Ha! One down from Mr. Brian. One more to go from Mike. I think we're gonna do Bart the Albino Burmese Python. He's gonna probably think it's Jeffrey because it's about the same size as Jeffrey, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be perfect. All right, let's see what he can do. What is that? Oh my goodness. This is a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Is this two snakes? Wait, what is this? Oh, is this two snakes? Burmese pythons are one of the giants for sure. They primarily come from two countries, Vietnam and Myanmar. They can get up to 18 foot in length and they're certainly one of the sweethearts when it comes to the giant snakes. Bigger snake. Oh, genius. Yeah, this one too. How long is the tail, Mike? Eight inches? You over exaggerating again? It's some kind of Burmese? Mm. Um, I feel like Sherlock Holmes. It's too big to be marshmallow. Too small to be Jeffrey. Obviously, way too small to be Sunrise. The only other berms I can think of that we have the ones next door. So we got those albinos. What is it like? Bert and Homer or something? Bert or Homer? You think it's Sesame Street? Yeah, Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking it's. Bart. He's right. <laughs> Dude, I'm good at this game. On to the next. I'm winning that trip. I think a spotted python's the way to go. It's a cool snake. Something that he's definitely not going to think. There's no way he's getting this one. Yeah, no way he's getting that one. There you go. Medium sized snake. Oh, what was that? That was you. <laughs> you touched my nose. That was a human. Spotted pythons are a dwarf python from Australia. These guys can get about four foot long. They're one of the handful of Antaracea species. And they're really an interesting small python that lay about 12 to 15 eggs per clutch. It doesn't smell like anything, which is really peculiar. Mind if I get a whiff? Yeah, He's right, it actually is like a no sense snake. Hmm. I was gonna say anaconda, but the muscle density just isn't there. Yeah, I know what you mean. Why are you guys laughing? You did not realize where it's at. It feels good, I don't mind. I'm trying to feel the pattern on it. I can't feel the snake's pattern. It's braille. <laughs> Jeez it's Louise. It's kind of for sweet nothings. Where are you at? It's gone now. Oh, it's up over your shoulder. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. God, it's just so smooth. Which makes me think that this is a water type. It's like Michael Phelps. But it doesn't. Okay, so it's not a ball python. It's totally. I'm going anaconda. Dude. It's a Stimson's python? Spotted. Spotted, yeah. Spotted python? Yeah. I forgot those are even a thing. Wow. <laughs> that, that, that's not even him. That's him. Look no, at the nuts on him. He's never gonna guess what you will get go. Alright, get your hands out. Was that a fart? No. <laughs> Is it a real one? No. no. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. Soft hands. It's a Chihuahua gecko. Why? Is it, am I right? Yeah. Why? Well, that was the fastest freaking round ever. <laughs> because Why it jumped right that? on me. It's the only we gecko thought, that jumps that quick. We thought you would figure like Crassy Gecko or something. I was wrong. <laughs> Man, I've been working all day and I have no idea where these clowns are. Nobody's here. All right, for this round, it's a little bit different, Mike. This is actually a bonus round. If you guess this, you win $100. Nice. But put your hands behind your back. What? No, no hands. hands. Can't okay. use hands. It's not going to bite, right? Ooh, wait, I can't feel it? No, no. You have your hands. hands, you can feel it with your face. How much? I'm not that flexible. Where? Which side? Hawk Island boas are actually from the islands right off of the coast of Honduras. They're a smaller species of boa that typically only gets about five to six foot. Oh yeah, I know that feeling. Definitely a boa. Still smells like it's nothing. I should have shaved the chin here for this. What is the texture of the scales? Lick it? I'm not licking it, I'm using my limb. Don't lick it! Um, it's not going behind the couch, is it? Kind of boa though. I mean, there's so many freaking boas. It's not a deal. We don't have one this size. Or do we? Oh, it's like impossible to figure out. Is it like a Syrian? Is it the uh, Hog Island? Is that it... sounds like a dirty $100 bill. Is it too bitty? Wait, the snake's falling. It's not fair. Did I hold the snake the other day? I don't think you've ever held Was it. Was it one of the snakes that you said that nobody ever sees before? 100 bucks is on the line, man. That's a lot of ice cream. This might be a long shot. It's not that Syrian that we messed with the other day because that thing was me. I don't think it has a name. It's an island boa. I don't know what it's called. Um, I want to say the size of everything. It feels like that Solomon Island boa. Are you sure I can't put my hands on it for two seconds? Yeah. No. Solomon Island said, boa, yeah. is that your idea? Is that I your think, yeah. I think that's what I'm going with. That's it, ain't it? It's called the Hog Island boa. Ah! <laughs>
they said nice things only. That thing was unbelievable. It was, nice. it, was it was nice until you messed with it. It's like hissing. Well, listen, for being a good sport, I'll at least buy you an ice cream. Yes. You know, I have pulled thousands and thousands of clutches of ball python eggs, so much so that I've always said I could probably do it blindfolded. Well, let's see if that works. Well, obviously, this is the clutch up here. I'm gonna pull this girl down, put it right here. Here's my egg box here, and here's the hard part. Okay, this is the female. She's an Enchi, and she was bred to a really beautiful male that I'll show you here in a little bit. This is the clutch of eggs. Don't bite me, don't bite me. Okay, we got one egg here. Oh, okay, here it is. A little harder to pull without uh, without knowing what's going on here. I wanna make sure I've got all the eggs. Oh, this looks like a slugger right here. I can feel the slug, so set that aside. Got the one egg here. Nice, the other eggs are all together, which is great. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. So eight eggs and one slug. Let's see how good I did. See, so you got two, four, six, eight, oh, nine eggs. <laughs> Somehow I didn't get one egg. But I got nine eggs, one slug. Again, beautiful entry girl bred to the Stinger Orange Dream Fire Yellow Belly. So the Stinger is actually a spider and an entry. So we've got super entry potential. We got all kinds of cool stuff. Orange Dream stuff, gonna be beautiful. But uh, hey, listen, I can't actually pull clutches blindfolded. Since Mike didn't win, let's go ahead and see if Noah can. This is coming. Comfy. I think I'm gonna win this money. Ooh. Okay, some sort of tree boa. <laughs> oh, we hey, hey, put your hands yeah, behind your back. Behind your back. Is it kind of counterbalance? Can you replay it on me? <laughs> God, why is it so smooth? Why are you giving me all the smooth ones? So smooth. Get away from my hand. Um, it lives. It's an arboreal species. I'm giving you kisses now. Wait a minute. It's not arboreal. It's a colubrid. <laughs> what is it doing? Ow! Oh, wait! It just bit you! Dad! It just bit you! Dad! 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 I thought the rule was no biting! Jeez Louise! I grab! I... Dad, I give up. I give up. I give up. Get this, this devilish thing off me. It's a cord snake! Ow! Please! Jeez, you're kidding me. It's out of my head! Man. It's a scaleless Texas man! Did you see it? It's opening its I mouth know, I right on your neck, dude. I felt it! If I don't get the money, nobody gets the money. It's all fun and games till someone gets hurt. What if we did, uh... No. I didn't even finish. <laughs> no. <laughs> You can't feel the texture on this. If he says he feels something, he's such a liar. You can't even tell what the butt is. You ready? Yes, I am. Last round. Oh, okay. Right. A lot of options on this one. All I of them are. So this is, if I win, then what? Mike and I go to Cedar Point together? I no. mean, but I hate rides. Yeah, he's scared of heights. I'm scared of heights. No, I'm not afraid of heights. Why would you say I'm afraid of heights? You don't like planes. I don't like, but that's... That's or different. bridges. Or bridges. Tall, specifically <laughs> tall bridges. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's height. Lori's been spending four days a week over at my daughter's place taking care of our grandchild. She's back today, and of course she caught us. What the heck is going on? Uh, Lori? Is yes? That, is that you? Yeah, it's me. What the heck are you doing? Well, I'm just trying to decide what kind of snake this is in my hand. Why? Why um, are you guys you, sitting this here? Is, this is important. This is for all the marbles. Don't tell them what it is. Don't say it. Lori, can you give me a hint what this is? No, this no. Is, don't. This is why nothing ever gets done. No, we're getting some stuff done right now. It's actually, this is a pretty big project. I'm gonna say this is midnight. Jeez! Nope. He's such a cheater. It's midnight! Yay! We're going to Cedar Point! Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise... Oh my god, that's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I farted. <laughs>